AFL footballers are about to receive a staggering 20% pay rise. The new six-year deal means the average player wage will rise by more than $60,000 this year. The AFL has declared the historic billion-dollar agreement a significant win-win for both the players and the game's governing body. In tough economic times, AFL footballers are the lucky ones. After signing off on a historic $1.84 billion six-year pay deal. And the AFL says they deserve it. AFL players play the toughest, fastest and most spectacular game in the world. The players winning a 20% pay rise. The average wage going up from $309,000 a year to $371,000. It's more than WA doctors, magistrates and even new Premier Mark McGowan earn. And Dockers legend Matthew Pavlich led the players' negotiating team. And we're thrilled to be able to secure that here today and ensure the game remains the best in, in the country. And for the first time, player wages will be tied to industry revenue. If the AFL continues to boom, so will take-home pay. Players have had a win and got what they want, which could be the as a percentage of model that is fair and ties them in a partnership sense of the success of our game and we've got what we want which gives us industry protection uh, and flexibility and ensures that our game goes ahead for the next hundred years and doesn't put it at risk. It's predicted the landmark deal will see the AFL's Millionaires Club swell from six players to 18. Free agents like Dockers skipper Nat Fife to get a massive pay rise. The WA club's the biggest winners of all. Fremantle and West Coast to be allocated 12 business class seats for every away game. In an ideal world, obviously, we'd love all players flying business class all around the country. Now, that's clearly wasn't able to be achievable. Adrian Barrage, 7 News.